Well, how do there, Chums, Design, Counting Numbers to use. And today, Chums, for you guys out there in the viewerverse, I just want to talk a little bit about No Man's Sky because there seems to be a lot of people getting rather confused about the size of the update that just dropped when it was only patches. There was a whole load of patches, but we've seen a whole load of patches before, but it usually is around about 1.2 gig at most, you know? But people are talking about seeing 12 gigabyte sized updates and they're wondering why, people inside the viewerverse, they're wondering whether Hello Games may have pre-packaged or pre-baked the update and encrypted it in a new way that we can't dig into. However, although the Mbing compiler was down and we couldn't get into the game files for some time and all the mods for No Man's Sky were also broken, if you didn't see my video on that, I've got a video link over there, go hit it up. That was just for a small amount of time. We have now passed that hurdle and the Mbing compiler is back up and running and data mining is underway. What have the data miners found? They have found that every single file inside of the game has been updated. Hello Games has added a header record to every single game file inside of the game folders, which means Steam sees it as every single update has happened to every single file. Therefore, it's a massive new update. But it's not. There's nothing new there. There's no new Quicksilver items, there's no new Expedition items. It just means that they've had ed added in an additional header record. Now there could be reasons for this. Now this is going to be purely speculation on my part and a guess as to why they might do that. Considering that the actual, the actual teams at Hello Games are split now, there's two ways. They're working on Light No Fire, they're working on No Man's Sky, and both of them are using perhaps the same game engine. I'm wondering whether they've had to add header records so they can now differentiate between the two sorts of dev teams. Because I know that inside of the Hello Games world, they encourage the members of their teams to move to whichever pro product is exciting them the most. So there's a lot of movement inside of the dev teams, and I think they need those header records to either put in the version of file, and maybe it's going to stop things accidentally leaking into the game like leaving in freighter lifts and things like that or leaving in the exteriors of stations when they shouldn't all you know that sort of stuff might be a hiccup of yesteryear rather than now but it might also be so they can actually dis differentiate between who's worked on what which version is active and maybe which actual game it's for like no fire or no man's sky it must get rather confusing. Even in this video, I keep almost saying light no fire or no man's sky when I'm meaning either or, you know? So yeah, I could do with my own head of records. But there we go, people. That's all it is. It's a change to the actual files themselves. But not only that, the hierarchy has changed too. So they used to actually have all the actual files and folders in like a pseudo sort of sort. So, you know, stuff that's been updated last and all that sort of stuff or from yesteryear and whatever. It was very pseudo binned. Now they've moved it to alphabetically sorted. Now they, there could be lots of reasons why they've done this. It could be again because of Light No Fire shares, shares the same game folder structure and things like that. And they want them both alphabetically sorted. It could be that they've brought in new hires and new people to No Man's Sky or into the Hello Game Studio. They're then looking at the pseudo bins and saying, well, where the fudge am I supposed to find these things? Where if it's all alphabetically sorted, hopefully it's going to be finding it quicker. It could be also for optimization, for the way that the game loads in all the files. Perhaps having it alphabetically sorted helps with the actual way that the actual consoles or even the PCs read the game files in. So there could be many a reason as to why Hello Games have added in header records or sorted it differently. I think it's down to optimization. I think the reason that this game file is so large is because of all these small little alterations that the data miners have done what the data miners do and they haven't come up with any golden nuggets from their mining. No, nope. not even a single sort of text stream record that might be slightly different. I did have Dragon Sire hit me up with one tasty nugget though, which I put on the screen now, which is just about an urgent message alert, but I'm wondering whether that might tie into the way that frigates operate now. You know, if they encounter something dodgy in space, they send out an alert for you to go and attend. It could have just been something that they missed in the original orbital patch that's now just fell into the game files and that one's popped up. Other than that, I've got nothing for you. There's nothing new there. I just wanted to set people's expectations and hype levels correctly, people inside the view of us. I don't want you to get overly excited right around now. I do think there is reason to be excited though, people. 
we have got the four part ARG arc in you know, transition right now. We're missing part four, which is the conclusion. So hopefully it's going to be a nice big ending, a crescendo to the actual four part ARG arc. And I'm wondering whether we might get some sort of large update or large expedition at some point in this year. I'm thinking maybe the summer though. And I'm thinking that the reason Hello Games has gone deathly silent right now is there's a lot of games award shows coming up in latter part of the year. Maybe they've got to get ready with Light No Fire to blow people's socks off again to keep the hype generated. But not only that, they still want to be bringing in new players to No Man's Sky. And I think right now that they're just so busy in getting something out there and shipped that's going to wow everybody when it comes to No Man's Sky and Light No Fire that I think that right now the silence although it's deafening I think could be a good thing because Hello Games is right now is probably concentrating that's what I'm hoping anyway let me know what you think inside the comments sound off do you have the same gut feeling as I and how excited are you for No Man's Sky or Light No Fire? I've got a poll up at the moment asking people whether they are more excited about Light No Fire or No Man's Sky. I need to do a deep dive over the weekend. I'll be putting that video live in the week. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again, people in the viewerverse.